Good afternoon everybody. Today I thought I'd make a little pasta dish again. Something really very very easy to do which only requires a few basic ingredients. Uh, it's going to be indeed a pasta but a pasta with mussels. As you'll see this recipe is dead easy um, and it only requires a few basic ingredients. Uh, what we will be using is about half a kilo or a little bit more, I think about 600 grams of mussels. Uh, this is grade A, so the largest one uh, of mussels. We will using, be using some <coughs> vegetables, uh, assorted vegetables. I've just selected, just for my own ease of use, some uh, pre-cut soup vegetables to stew the um, mussels. Furthermore, for our dish, I'll be adding a little bit of onion, some white wine, and indeed we will need some spaghetti. Um, very basic, now let's start by cooking our mussels. As I said before, this is a very basic recipe which will start by cooking our mussels. No, nothing hard. We will just add some of our vegetables. There we go, to provide some flavor. We dump in our mussels. There we go, and we add a good glug of about a glass worth of wine, and we will basically set this to boil. So what we want is actually to steam these mussels into the uh, in the liquid, and for this, of course, we will need to cover the pot, but we'll steam these in their liquid. As soon as they start to open, they're basically ready, um, ready as is. Uh, we will let this cool down because, of course, we want to uh, extract the mussel meat from the shells. Um, and then, whatever you do, do not discard the cooking liquid because this will be the basis for our sauce. As you can see, we are now glazing our onions. I, in the end, decided to make one little change to the recipe. That is to add some chunks of two small or two large mushrooms that I still had lying around. Now, mushrooms or any mild vegetable you would be able to add to this, uh, but nothing that is too strong or too flavorful. So, but we will just quickly glaze this over. Our onions are as good as translucent, which is what we want. And we will Add in this case our cooking liquid which is one entire glass of our juice and bring this to the boil. We will be boiling this through very seriously so we want to reduce this by about half. We will then add our cream and uh, bind our sauce. Our liquid has finally reduced and we will add some simple culinary cream and I am going to add some oh, simple binding agent to it. Again I want to make, keep this recipe as simple and quick as I possibly can. We'll just stir this around and allow our sauce to cook just a little more. Could use just a little touch more cream. There we go. Just a little bit more cream. And I think we're pretty much 
good for the consistency. I again took a little bit of creative liberty with my own recipe but what I will be doing so now we will just add back our mussels for just to heat them through we really don't want to be cooking this much further than this so but we will heat our mussels through and I took the creative liberty of probably adding another binding agent which will be an egg yolk so right after uh, our pasta has finished boiling we will add an egg yolk to this sauce and with a hot pasta again bind this together to a lovely creamy sauce this pasta is basically tossed around in the pot so we will be adding our mussels our cream and do not skimp on any of the lovely sauce and just toss around as is again as I added one egg yolk into the sauce we will have the same effect as we have with carbonara so the cream actually starts building itself as the sauce voila, comes into contact with our hot pasta no need to cook this any further and I can tell you in advance this is going to be a very, 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 mm, let's just have a taste. Very good meal. This is truly a great pasta recipe to try at home. Let's play it up. We've played it up. Uh, I just remember that I forgot the garnish which is supposed to be parsley so we improvised with a little bit of rosemary from the garden but this is really an extremely tasteful bite of food I can't stress that enough you will literally be licking the plate clean because the sauce is really extremely delicious just serve with well I'd say a glass of white wine and enjoy